map control, and okay. you can scout with them. Okay. But if he does 14 pool bane links, then you need roaches. All right. Excellent. So well, that's, what, uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drone scout and uh, go hatch first, and we'll, we'll just kind of walk through this thing. And you can, uh, I'm sure you'll pick up on lots of little things that I'm not quite getting right. All right. And I'm excited. I'm excited to have you back on the show. Have you had any stroop waffles since getting back to, to home? Actually, I haven't. <laughs> what? I've I've seen them in the store, but I just haven't picked them up. That's terrible. Know. That is. A gotta shame. try. Gotta try and eat healthy. What the hell with that, man? You only live once. Well, yeah, true. But I like to live <laughs> a life where I'm healthy and and look my best. I, I guess. All What's right. this? I can actually like see your minerals and stuff. In yeah, it's right. a couple of changes to the uh, UI here uh, for the observers. The new patch. It's crazy. Yeah. Blizzard trying to make this game nice and presentable. So, is Grandmaster's League in the game yet? Uh, I think it's going to be in the game after... Okay, so I see where he is. I'm going to go block his hatchery because that sounds fun. I don't... I wouldn't... I wouldn't do that. No? Okay. Well, then I won't. Well, <laughs> you've already sent it then out. I will. Nice. <laughs> I feel like I if I can force him to play one base against a hatch first, it's to my advantage. But if you assume you're a better player than playing hatch first against hatch, fir hatch first, it's also uh, putting you at an advantage. See, see. All right. And I feel like um, he can just send two drones and kill your drone. And then you lose a drone and he just loses a bunch of mining time. Yeah. I feel like it's not... It's probably a really small difference, but well, I feel like it puts you behind. At this point, we're committed to it, so we'll see what happens. I can't tell who's hitting first. I think it's me. Yep. Well, well how come your uh, overlord is not on his base? So you put the pool down. All right, so that works, right? Yeah, actually, his response is not the best, so you got exactly what you wanted. He's one base, and you're uh, hatch first. So now we just have to make sure we don't die to the uh, speedlings or the mainlings. We're in good shape. Well, you got to determine now what he's going to do, so actually... Your second overlord should be in his main, and your first overlord should be at his natural. So I always send two overlords to... Um, okay. But yeah, you can watch the drones mining the gas, like... Um, yep, he's still mining gas. He pulls, like he he pulls them up at 100. Like, you watch the pool, and yeah, when yeah, it starts yeah. uh, wiggling, yeah. that's speed. Yep. And then he pulls off the drones, so that means that he's going to go speed links. Which is makes it more likely that he's going to expand and not make banelings. So in this case, I would never, I would not go roaches. I would just get speed and uh, you know match his links, and then you'll have a few more because you have two hatch, and then you have map control with speed. So okay. So I'm going to just make eight links to start, and then I'm going to go back to droning a little bit. Is that okay, or is that dangerous? Uh, well, he went 14 pools, so you gotta keep making links at first. Okay. Pull guys off gas or leave them mining? Uh, just get speed and pull off. We require more minerals. You can see with your overlords, um... Yep. The, you should have them in his path, also one, so you can see what's coming. Your speed is uh, a bit late, so your uh, timing attack might be a bit late, I don't know. So we're just going to make speed links until speed finishes and then go. Yeah, I think that's the best choice. And then as soon as you go, you can start pumping drones again.
I think you're safe now. You can just pull your queens to your hatches. Nice, he's got a rich one down. Now you can attack now and start drones again. You can also start mining gas again then. And like get an Evo chamber. Depending on what you see at his base. I don't really understand why you uh, split up your forces. Um, I don't know. I thought I had an overwhelming advantage in his natural, so I was just going to go do damage. It was an eco. Uh, you should have stuck together and just killed his, his zerglings and then I mean, the stand next to his hatchery and kill off the lynx as they pop. The roach warrant timing is pretty good, so. Now you can decide if you, uh, if you want to play defensive and get a lair and get upgrades and, well, you match his numbers. Or you could do something like, um, not get lair and just do like a massive roach timing attack with plus one. I do feel like I'm ahead, so I want to play safe, right? the right bet here. Or am I just... Oh, shit. That was, uh... Unfortunate. Well, I did feel like I was ahead. You were... Until that happened. You should always keep, um, like, links near his base so you can scout out what's coming because your first overlord is, like, halfway across the map, so you see these moves very late and you saw the zerpling movement, like, not at all. I'm in trouble for you. I, did, I just made a big run of drones. I'm so surprised you're still alive. Me too. Kind of. Huh. Now I'm dead. Yeah. 
All right. I feel like um, you could have won that game if you didn't split up your links and just killed his Zerglings and then just waited for his uh, reinforcements. Right. Or at least you could have gotten a huge advantage and killed all the drones as natural and just put pressure on for a long time. And then still after your links, you were ahead by like five drones. Mm -hmm. If you do, if you would have seen that he was moving out, or yeah, if you would have kept your links at home, you would have been in a really good position to win that game because you were having an upgrade going and he didn't. Yeah. And you had and you had more drones. So I think that's the two mistakes that you made. But uh, I think you should play like once you get speed links. Even if you don't really want to attack, you should keep them near his base so you can, you know, poke in and see, like, the roach count and the zergling count so you know what you can afford to make, like, if you'll have to make pure roach because he's going to attack or if you can afford to get in some drones. Right. So you have to be a little more uh, present on the map with the zerglings. Hmm. But uh, I think your transition was good with the, with the plus one. And the Roach, because that gives you the option to just go into a macro game. Or if you feel like he's making a lot of drones, you can decide to push, punish him with the plus one timing. Okay. All right. Um, all right. So right now I'm trying to create another game, and it's not letting me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop you guys from the party and see if I can create one by myself and then invite you to the game. Uh, all right. Tell me that no... Uh, room is available at the moment. So hopefully that doesn't continue. No servers are currently available. Please try again later. And Sounds like the patch is... Uh, you and I just aren't meant to do this, I don't think. <laughs> well, how about I try making? Sure. What map? Uh, any MLG map is fine. I'll let you pick. Okay. There should be an MLG sh Shakuras, right? Yeah. Yep. No servers available. That's uh, that's awesome. Face palm. I'll try uh, restarting Starcraft. See if it helps. Yeah, I will do the same. I would anticipate that we probably won't even be able to log.